teams in season 99. All tied up, one set apiece, which means we'll have at least a set number four. Good to have you with us. Dolorito, unable to connect. Encouraging start for LPU. Yes, miscommunication on the side of the Sanbeda Lady Red Spiders. But we can see confidence in the palo. Yes, it's still there. That was Venice Puzon. Again, big challenge for her. As early as the first game, it's a hard serve. Yeah. Oh, nobody home on the other side. Miscommunication between Molina and her spikers. So Venice Puzon, I think that will count as an ace. It will. Uh, for Puzon. Mm -hmm. Puzon, another hard serve. Castillo denied. Now it's LPU's blocking. Making its presence felt. Mapansin natin it. All starts sa um, mahirap at mahirap na si Ben na service na tong Lyceum. Doon sila kumukuha ng momentum. Yun ito yung nangyari ng first set kanina. Ang hard ng serve nila na hirapan mag-isip itong Sandeda na nakakuha sila ng kill blocks. Oh, Bachar, inaanggulohan. But you cannot approach it that way. Yes. Kailangan with conviction. Yeah. Four to nothing start for LPU, Coach Ed. Probably the quickest timeout of the match so far. Pakinggan natin siya. Hindi ka pwede taas ng taas. Ah, bumato ka ng normal na bato. Hindi pwede bahala na spiker. Kaya mo mag-adjust spiker mamaya. Eh, bahala na. Hindi po pwede yung ganun. Hindi naman natin iisayo yan. Pag alanganin ka, pwede ka naman mag-drop all kahit sa bato. Iisayo mo naman yun eh. Those instructions para kay Kat Molina after that miss set earlier. Trabaho mo kasi yung bilang setter, kailangan ikaw yung pinaka-vocal sa lahat ng teammates mo sa loob. Kasi ikaw yung nagmamando eh. Kung anong set plays ang ibabato mo at kung sino bibigyan mo. Kaya kailangan vocal ka all the time. Apusan with another good serve. Muntikan pa yun. Pachar! Andun yung blockers. LPU will retaliate. Buhay pa. Castillo! Perfect placing for Castillo. Perfect placing. Tama, hindi niya nahinayaan mag ka-second touch pa. Nakita niya, walang de-depensa dun sa zone 5. Dinalab din yung bola without so much power. Puntos. Good recognition from Castillo! Although she commits the service header. LPU with a four-point lead. That hurts. Mas lalo pag... Apat yung inahabon yung kalamangan. Nakapuntos kayo and then magkakaroon ka ng error. This is Jonna Dolorito. Seven points today. But she's been up and down in terms of her attempts. Underhand setup. Habakon. Andun si Dolorito sa likod. Doguna! Puts it through. Kung kanina mga puso na mamayag pag itong block is ng San Pedro Lady Red Spikers, binabasag na. May dogo na, kitang-kita natin, lakas ng braso. Andun yung blockers, ang ganda ng timing, pero it's too powerful for them. Yep. Jonah Duguna, or Joan Duguna, rather. One of the most powerful, tsaka pinakamataas, isa mga pinakamataas. Dating sa portion 200, I heard that. Angel Habakon. Nakita natin doon, no, ginawa rin nila yung ginagawa ng Lyceum sa kanila. It was a low, fast set. Yeah. Kaya nalate ang blockers ng Lyceum. Good job para sa San Beda Lady Red Spiders. Narinig yun, naramdaman ka. Ang lutong ng atake ni Anthony Habakon. Only the second point though for San Beda here in the third. Puzon, over to Tula. Too deep on the side. Molina will set up a charm. Andun si Lopez sa likod. Toguna! Molina keeps it up. Habakon. Andun pa rin si Lopez. Great floor defense by Jaika Lopez. Oh. And an attack error on Dolorito. Oh, medyo nag-hesitant si Dolorito doon. Kung i-off speed ba niya or the drop bull niya. Yun tuloy. Not over. Uh -huh. That was supposed to be a back row attack. Mm. Pero ang ganda ng floor defense. Both teams. Yeah. Three to six. Ooh, service ace for Erin Navarro. Now the lead is down. So two points na lang. Just like that. 
Sanbeda with the easy retaliation here in set three. Ang bilis nun. Sunod-sunod para sa Sanbeda. It was 4-0, 5-1. Now it's 6-4. Toguna stops the bleeding. Who you gonna call? Yeah. When you need a stop, of course. There's no one else but Toguna. Joan Toguna. Easily one of the best scorers of the league, even with a double block right in front of her. She knew what she was going to do. Service error on Osada. Man, that, that, they, they didn't need that. That is Ibachar. Better pick up here. Oh, Jaja Tulang. Anya hinihintay natin kanina pa. We know she's capable of that. Nakita natin for the past few seasons, tulang kabisado niya niya at alam na alam niya na gagawin niya. That was a sharp angle and a powerful spike. All right, let's go to this technical timeout on the other side, Julia Ong. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niya ang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lahat. Pagpapalin kayo dito sa NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game Volleyball Tournament. Para sa dalawang coaches natin, gusto niyang itatak ang mindset na back to zero para sa kanya, kanika nilang mga koponan para kay Coach Cromwell Garcia. Ibalik daw nila ang pattern nila. Magtiwala at mag-usap para naman kay Coach Edgar. Ay gusto niya muli makita ang kumpiyansa ng Lady Red Spikers. Lahat pinaalalahanan din niya na anytime dapat ready ang bawat isa. Dahil anytime pagkailangan, ipapasok ko kayo. All for now, matinanan. Both of our coaches have been great in terms of adjustments in this match. Maraming salamat. Julia Ong for that report. Set number two, Sanbeda responded. Now it's LPU who is showing us some resilience and recovery as well. From that disastrous set number three, Ja Ja Tulang. Again, it all starts with a good service para sa Lyceum Lady Pirates. Nakikita natin, ito rin yung trend kayo na nangyari nung first set kapag nasisimulan nila sa mga bigat na service at nakikita nang nahihirapan sa reception itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Doon sa nang nagkakaroon ng confidence. Yeah. Molina, over to Habakon. Sobra. Too strong for Angel, but there was a check ball. There was a check. Line daw eh, touches the line. Ah, line. Oo, oh, line Ah, daw. okay, sakto. So, Angel gets the hit. LPU, <laughs> si Venice, kinakausap itong si first referee, Rene Gonzalez. Puzon, choosing the back row. Molina, one, two. Maabangan siya doon. Mm -hmm. So, San Beda gets the point. Trims the lead down to three. Nabitin si Venice Puzon doon. Ang ganda sana nung coverage. Ang ganda rin sana nung anticipation. Yeah. Alam ko nung saan nila alagay eh, pero... Serving is Angel Habakon. How about that jump serve? Pio scores! In a while. The yeah. queen of tips. Back at it again. <laughs> you like her connection with Venice Puzon. Playing so smart. Alam niya ko sa inyo ilalagay all the time. Hindi kailangan ng too much power. Amazing play. Dito siya na check na ito ni Arizapa. Mm. Toguna. Molina, underhand set up for Castillo. And Castillo converts. It's nice to see na ang San Beda Lady Red Spikers, even though nag-aabol sila, makita natin energy nila hindi bumababa. Unlike the first set. Mm -hmm. Nung first set, nung nakita nilang malayo na yung kalamangan, down na sila. But this third set, doon talaga magkakasukatan eh. Masalo ko pag salitan kayo ng set, yeah. ng kalaban mong team. Uh -huh. Nagkasukatan na kayo eh for the, for the first two sets. Right. Itong third set, ito na yun. Ito na yung totoong characters nila. Ito na tawag na pivotal. Yes. Set number three. Castillo, difficult angle. John Doguna from the back. Picked up. Here's Castillo again. 
Yeah, approach that under the ball. Yes. Nauna siya kaysa sa set yung set. Medyo mataas. Inaasahan yata. Fast and low. Napailalim siya. Awkward angle. Automatic outside pin. Para kay Castillo. But you like the action from the middle blocker, Ari Zappa. Diba? Rumorun. Yes. Uh, dig. Sobrang bihira. Ulitin ko para sa mga middle block. That's right. Back row hit. Sobra. Kinargahan masyado ni Joe and Duguna. Yes. Back to back miss hits for the both teams. So here we go. We're only separated by three points. Dito po sa third set. And there is the setter of San Beda, Kat Molina. On deck. Who's on? Ooh, lefty tip. Not gonna work. Bachar, sobra. Sobra yung atake. Yes. Ni Janel Bachar. Ang ganda sana initiative. Nakita ko gusto niya ibabawan eh. Yeah. Pero the follow-through, cool lang kaya he went outside. And again, itong si Bachar. Palitan si Arizapat Navarro eh. Pero simula nung pumasok siya, hindi na siya ninawas dito ni Coach Ed. Oh! That's a kill block for LPU! Ang ganda nung timing, kitang-kita, magkatikit na magkatikit itong blockers ng Lyceum Pirates. No way out para kay Batchar. That was Jaja Tulang and Osada combining for that block. Castillo! Oh, picked up by Puzon, what a dig! Tulang! Andun, si Habakon sa likod. Back row, violation. Ah, oo. Malayo ang pinanggalingan. Oo, masyado lang mabilis yung ball lang yun. Para may set pa. Ayan ah. Oh yeah. Mm, it went over. So that's an error. On San Beda. Who's on? With a sharp one. Molina to Bachar. The tip. Oh, naandun si Puzon. Toguna. Too strong. No check. Yes, outside. LPU is disappointed. They were sure that there was a check ball. Oh, they reversed the call. Okay. Nadaan. Nadaan siya. <laughs> yeah. Facial expressions. Yes. <laughs> so, first, uh, second technical second timeout. Second technical yeah. timeout. All right, let's go to a quick break. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa... Some of the fans inside San Andres Sports Complex watching... On a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We're seeing some familiar faces kanina from the EAC Generals. That was the biggest Dennis Puzon fan mm -hmm. earlier. Puzon. Tracks the ball down. They go to wow. uh -huh. Jonah Dolorito. What an angle para kay Dolorito. It works every time kapag dinadala niya sa super cross court, mas lalo na sa zone 1. Kitang kita natin, kinasa niya yung kamay niya papunta doon. Kitang kita niya, wala rin depensa. Ang San Beda Lady Red Spiders doon. Good eye para kay Dolorito. Specialty yan. Cut shot mula kay Dolorito. Molina, one hand mm. set for Navarro. What a connection. Yes, and good adjustment din para kay Molina. Naihabol pa niya yun. Nakita niya, tumalun agad itong blocker niya ng Lyceum na, although alam nila na backline siya, na dapat hindi tatalon. Tulang! Oh, almost the same with Dolorito. Cross-court hit. Parang nagpapagandahan ng cross-court attacks nung si Tulang at si Dolorito. Ah. And the lead has ballooned to 8. 18 to 10. 
LP naman ngayon ang kumakamada. Jonah Dolorito will serve. Sharp serve. Back to Angel. Abakon, oh. One-handed save. It's a free ball for San Beda. Let's see what they can do. Oh, free ball din yung binalik. A chance to set up. Combination play for Jaja Tulang. Ito po ang first combination play ng Lyceum Lady Pirates. Kung kanina gumana San Beda, sabi ng Lyceum Lady tayo papatalo. Kumagat sa decoy na late, na delay, automatic. No blockers for Tulang. Yeah. Also, I love the oh, angling. Oh. Pero nakita mo ba kanina kung paano ang hinila si Puzon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tangan natin si Coach Ed. Ibigyan ng dobling score. Tayo ang magdo-dobling score kahit pa isa-isa lang si Puzon. At tsagayin nyo. Tsagayin nyo. Kaya pasapan natin yung patong na yun. Kung nang tumalun ka lang. Ha? Kapag alam nyo yung return ball, more on patong siya. Okay? Okay. So now, Coach Ed is asking for a 2 is to one conversion. Ayan, bakit na natin yung replay kayo na kung paano hinila si Guzon? Kasi mutik na siya. Magka... Uh, Close court. Violation. <laughs> Heads up play by Hiromi Osada to pull Venice Guzon. Yan ang totoong teammate. Ayan, correct. So, di ka papabayaan. Crucial yun, ha? Kasi na-involve ulit si Guzon sa play. Yes. Pagkatapos na. There's Molina. Abagon. Ball is kept up. Guzman saves it. It's a chance ball, though. Thrown to the other side. Navarro. Saved by Guzman again. Jonah. Single coverage by Navarro. Pulang. Underhand. River set. Nandun si Daguna. Who's on? Wow, what a set. This is the longest rally so yeah. far, Martin. Abagon. Buhay pa. Rally continues. Dolorito popped up. Bachar puts it down. Bachar, the lefty, ended that long rally. Both teams excelling sa kanilang good defense at net defense. Ang daming block rebounds, ang daming good things at excellent, excellent things tayo nakita. But then again, Bachar with that long arms capitalizing over her blockers. Bachar. Again, dealing damage off the bench today. One of the newest faces, netong Lady Red Spikers. Parang walang... Ooh! Wow! Ooh! Angel Habakon detonates. Look at that swag, Martin. Look at this. She wanted this. Habakon, baon na baon. And you can tell from the reaction right after, she yes. is fired up. She flew. Martin, yeah. for a brief second. That's right. Again, it shows us her potential. Oh, John, John Doguna. Sabi niya, meron din ako niyan. Yes. <laughs> Pero nonchalant si Doguna. Uh, nonchalant. Uh, nonchalant, uh, nonchalant, bro. <laughs> Para ano lang siya. Usual day. Yes, a usual uh, day. Kasi alam naman natin na grab yung score. Itong si Doguna. Nice serve by Osada. Molina, one-handed set. Abako, who picked up by Osada. Play continues. Molina, over to Habakon again. Habakon, down the line. It's outside. outside yes. yep. Kita natin yung gigil kay Habakon. Every time mag approach siya, nakakagat na agad siya sa labi niya. Yep. Andun na yung killer instinct nung bata. Yep. Na alam natin nang gigigil na yun sa kanyang first game ever dito sa NCAA. Kumangat yung kumpiyansa niya. Good sa atake kanina. Oh, a serve is ace. Unleashed by Dolorito. Oh no, by Osada. Hiromi Osada. First year player. Transferi from FEU. One of the four transferis mula sa FEU na nasa LPU na. Dolorito. I read natin, Martin. Itong Lyceum, meron ng 11 aces. Yeah. Oh, the push works for Bachar. Bachar kanina going for that power spike. Now going for that smart tip behind the blockers of Lyceum Lady Pardons. Mautak oh, maglaro ito si Bachar. Mm -hmm. Kanina pa niya ginagawa yun actually. Kanina first set nang ito ko pa niya siya drop. Uh -huh. Tapos pag dito niya sa ibasan, lahat pinapalo niya. This time, may nagsap niya. Pinagsama niya ang palo at drop goal. Kung kaya lang ka, Ardahan. Oh, 
San Beda with a rejection. Too straight for the Lady Red Spikers. I believe that is Ari Zappa's third kill block for this game. Not that the timing. Towering. Nasaraduhan niya. Lopez. Difficult pass. Oh, Tom Guna connects. Hindi pwedeng single blocker kay Tuguna. Mas lalo na na ang power hit niya or power spike niya ay ang cross-court angle. Hindi pwedeng libero lang ang de-defensa. Kailangan lagi dalawa ang blocker sa automatic. Kailangan ang block rebound. Love the adjustment from Puzan there. Mm -hmm. Lapit sa net eh. Still, she was able to execute the two-hand set for Tuguna. No wonder. Back-to-back -back best setter. Uh -huh. Ah, Tulang sends it straight to the net. Breather for San Beda. They have Klein Abraham back on the court. So, si Bachar, upo muna. But quality minutes off the bench for Bachar, Janelle Bachar. So, Angel Habakon, I'm entertained by her antics, especially with the, the jump serve. Quick attack for Hart Pio. The queen of tips. Back at it again. Doing smart plays time to time. Hindi kailangan ng power. Pinapakita niya. Sige, sa inyo na yung malakas na palo. Sa akin na tong wit and smart plays. Dinap lang na sa gitna. Kasi alam niyang walang depense eh. It is. Set point for LPU. Castillo. Denied. Balik ang bola. Sa LPU. Tolorito. Scores the final point of set number three. And LPU recovers in this match. They are now ahead again, two sets to one as we go to set number four.